From underground smoker fights and rivaling gym beefs to the UFC and some of the biggest stages in the fight world, Southern California's own Francisco Cisco Rivera has etched his name in MMA history as a must-see fighter with his barn-burning, leave-it-all-in-the-cage type of performances. From his 40-second KO victory over Bruce Lee Roy Caceres, or his swinging for the fences against John Hands of Stone, Lineker, or his all-out war against Goedo Perez, Cisco has proven himself as a true showman in the fight game and continues to bring his all-or-nothing attitude to the up-next cage. His next fight against former UFC fighter Chris Beal takes place at the Commerce Casino in Los Angeles, California for the up-next fighting promotion. Cisco looks to continue his legacy of great fights and is ready for anything the future holds. Uh, my name is Francisco Cisco Rivera, fighting out of Buena Park, California. When we first started, it, there was no camo, there was no uh, amateur events, and, and there was nothing. It was more like gym versus gym. We would invite different gyms to have little camos like that at our gym, and that's how we'd get our amateur, you know, fights going. But they wouldn't count. They were just, you know, when you went pro, you went pro. It was like, oh, how many amateur records? What's your amateur? We didn't have that. It was more smokers, and that's how, you know, I started. I started doing amateur fights, but like, no weight classes it was just like you're gonna fight him can you fight him and that's how you know the time where i started my first fight i wasn't even gonna i wasn't planning on going pro the whole time i just wanted to make extra money to go to vegas because i was going with my friends like the week next week so i went and fought made like a thousand bucks knocked them out in like 40 seconds first round and from there that's how my career started Oh, it was crazy. After going in there, the nerves never, you know, having my first pro fight, having, I had Josh Barnett in my corner. Yeah, he cornered me in my first fight. So it was like something, once I got in there and I got that knockout, it was just like, okay, I think I'm gonna be a fighter now. After that is pretty much, I got addicted to it. I uh, just kept training and kept fighting, kept, you know, stayed in the gym and then eventually got called to the UFC. When I fought John Lineker, we threw 200 punches in the first minute, you know, we fought and we got fight of the night that night. So, and then, you know, fighting Alex Caceres knocked him out in under a minute. So I've always had good fights. My fights are always entertaining. When I fought Uriah Faber, I was winning that fight until he eye poked me. So I've always had good fights no matter what. So it's not like I go in there and I'm boring, you know, that people know either they're going to knock me out or I'm going to knock them out or they're gonna do anything they can to take me to the ground because obviously they don't wanna keep standing with me, you know? Yeah, when I fought your right favor, he was ranked number five and I was ranked like number 10, I think. And then we, we fought each other at one, UFC 181. And uh, the first round, I, I dominated him, you know, I, I, I picked him apart, he couldn't take me down. Second round, same thing, I came out, was picking him apart, he couldn't take me down and then he eye poked me. And from there, like he poked me, I just covered up. And then the ref, Steve Mazagati or whatever, he don't even ref in the UFC no more because that's how bad he was. He didn't stop it, he didn't see it. I covered my eye, went back, and Faber just got behind me and choked me. And the whole time, I couldn't even see where the hell he was. And uh, yeah, he, he got me on that choke. They didn't see it, the replay showed everything. You know, I had a, uh, I had a torn retina, I had to get surgery, I had to get laser, the, my retina from it cracking, I had to get it laser so it stopped. Yeah, so he, he, he did some damage to my eye, but you know, it is what it is, like, there's nothing I could do, you know, at that time. Now they're super strict on eye pokes now, like, they're like, they can stop a fight right off of there, off the bat, and it's real strict now, you know, yet they can go to replays, if that would have happened now, they could easily stop the fight, went back, look at the camera. Oh, he did poke him. Okay, well, you, that's considered a no contest or a loss for him. I win, you know, so it's different now. But uh, yeah, that was like one of the, that what could have catapulted my career at the top, you know. From there, I would have beaten him. And then from there, I could have either fought Dominic Cruz or fought for the title and like say that. Up next, yeah, up next fight is my next fight against uh, Chris Beal. Um, He's a former UFC guy also. He was on the Ultimate Fighter show. He fought a couple of times in the UFC. He has like the 2016 Knockout of the Year award. You know, he has, he has, he's had great fights in the UFC. So it's, and I know he's, he's game. He's not like a, really a ground guy. He's more of a stand-up guy. He's had a few boxing, pro boxing fights. So 
I know my style and his style, we're going to put on a great show.